What's up guys? It's Casey Zogelman, aka the Fort Sanderson sister here coming at you with another Hocus Pocus 2 news update. So this came out about a week ago and we now know uh, who the new cast member Tony Hale is playing in Hocus Pocus 2. As always, link is in the description, so let's dive right in. This is from comingsoon.net, and the title is Tony Hale will play two characters in Hocus Pocus 2. Exciting stuff. It was announced earlier this year that actor Tony Hale will be joining the cast of the upcoming Hocus Pocus 2. Now we know who he'll be playing. During a recent appearance at the premiere of Aaron Sorkin's latest film, Being the Ricardos, Hale was asked about the sequel. He then offered up some information on his role and revealed he would be playing two parts. If you can hear that clawing at my window, that is my cat Bellatrix. She's being a little needy baby. She's okay. It is warm here. She just is being needy. Do not pity her. Uh, what did I say? He then offered up some information on his role and revealed he would be playing two parts before discussing how nice it was to meet the iconic cast of the film. Adam Shankman is a buddy of mine and he kindly asked me to do it, Hale said, and I play the mayor. I play, actually, two characters. I play this kind of evil reverend and then I play this mayor. You know, it's great, another... Another surreal experience, that movie is a Halloween classic, and meeting Bet, Sarah, and Kathy, who was, uh, Kathy and Jimmy, who was on Veep with me, it was really fun. I just finished. So he has finished his role. He has finished his role. <laughs> to, wait. That was just a clip. <laughs> I almost read the same thing twice. Just making sure I didn't. I didn't miss anything else because the rest of it is shocker everything we already know up to this point okay so we know tony hale is playing not only one but two characters one of which is likely in the prologue flashback that we'll be seeing this flashback has been confirmed through imdb which i will also link down in the description as we have credits for the young Sanderson sisters. Your girl freaking called it. Your girl freaking called it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. I knew. I knew. I knew we were going to see them as kids. I freaking knew it. And I would just like to throw a shout out to someone who has been in my comments section a few uh, videos ago. Hope you're still watching. Um, we have with us Nina Kitchen in the comment section, and Nina, as you can see on the IMDb, is playing young Mary Sanderson. I'm honored that you have graced my channel with your presence. Thank you for being here. I hope you've enjoyed the content so far. I will be continuing to pump it out, obviously. Um, tell everyone I said hello. Uh, so, like I said, we have the credits for the young Sanderson sisters. Oh my gosh. Yes, but this is where we hop off of the news train and we run onto the theory train as fast as we possibly can. Because from here on, nothing is confirmed other than character names, so buckle up. This is about to get crazy, because you girls got a working theory. And I kind of hope I'm right. <laughs> Come! We fly! <laughs> so Tony Hale's characters are actually going to be the secret villains of Hocus Pocus 2 if you want my two cents. I think he's going to be a secret villain. I really, truly do believe this is possible. Mayor Trask is going to end up being the real villain behind everything. So Mayor Trask is played by Tony Hale, who also plays, in his own words, an evil reverend. We can be led to believe this reverend is called Reverend Trask. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that name sends shivers down my spine because I'm also a Dark Shadows fan. And I'm going to go on and say it. Because of this character and this name specifically, and his role, specifically, 
Hocus Pocus and Dark Shadows take place in the same universe confirmed? Yeah, I'm going somewhere with this. I'm running a ways, but we'll reach the finish line in the end. Just trust me. So for those of you unfamiliar with Dark Shadows, I have done a couple of videos of it on this about it on this channel, but they didn't do too well because it wasn't Hocus Pocus related content. But if you like Dark Shadows and you've watched it, please go check those out. I'll link one right here. Let me just break it down real quick. Uh, let me break Dark Shadows down. It was a supernatural soap opera from the late 60s that dealt with vampires, werewolves, and witches, to name a few things. However, there was a human character who was probably the most despicable villain I've seen in a very, very long time. I'm talking since Dolores Umbridge, and I think I might hate this man more than Dolores Umbridge, if that tells you anything. Um, and his name was Reverend Trask. Yep. We have a connection between the two properties now. Reverend Trask in Dark Shadows was, wait for it, a witch hunter from Salem. This duty has been passed down through his family of Trasks for years, and pretty much any of his reincarnations in the show do the exact same thing as the OG. I'm not making this up. I'm dead serious. He was an evil reverend in every single one of his incarnations, except for one, but that was a parallel time thing, and it was a whole, that was a whole thing by itself. He was actually just useless in that plot line. I don't even know what he was doing there, um, but I'm digressing. Um, his introduction was originally in the 1795 story arc of the series, which is roughly 102 years after the Sanderson sisters were executed in Salem. So it can't be the same guy, right? Of course not, because Tony Hale's alleged Reverend Trask is the ancestor of Trask in Dark Shadows. He is in the same familial bloodline. The Trask men in Dark Shadows are pretty much all evil reverends, as I have just said. They are selfish to a fault and power hungry. This character is the most despicable villain in Dark Shadows and easily at the top of my I hate this person list. There are characters in that show that I hate to love and there are characters in that show that I love to hate. I just mindlessly hate this man because he is the absolute worst. Not Jerry Lacey. He's a fantastic person. I have met him, but I wanted to punch every single character he ever played except for Tony in the face with a baseball bat. I hate Trask. Oh my gosh. And look, I wouldn't be so suspicious if they'd literally used any other name from history or even the Crucible to name this new character. But because they used Trask of all names, I'm super sus of this guy's character. Yeah, I'm on to you, Jin D'Angelo. Are you, are you a Dark Shadows fan? Because there is no way you pulled that name out of thin air. There is absolutely no way. And just because you slapped an E on the end of the spelling doesn't mean I don't know who this guy is. Guys, do me a favor in the comments section, because I'm going crazy over there, over here. If there is any record of a Reverend Trask in the history of Salem or witch hunting, period, please tell me. <laughs> please tell me. Because I swear, this is completely on purpose, and I feel like that name drop is just way, way too important. Coincidence? I think not! And Dark Shadow, spoiler alert, Trask was responsible for murdering my favorite character, the witch, Angelique Bouchard. So I'm already looking at this name going, I swear to all that is spooky. If you lay one single finger on my girls, I'm gonna get ya! <laughs> anyway, putting aside the Dark Shadows connection, just the description of Evil Reverend set my theory radar off in an instant. So we know, thanks to IMDb, that we will see a flashback to the Sanderson sisters as children. Again, I called it! Odds are, Reverend Trask will show up in that flashback and interact with the girls in some way. They wouldn't have named him if he wasn't going to do that. And I'm willing to bet that it's this guy who sets them on the path to evil. But how did he do this? Well, I'll be happy to tell you guys. Winifred, Mary, and Sarah weren't born as evil witches. No, no, they grew up trying to be good people, but the townsfolk ridiculed them and shunned them from society because they were born with magic. Their mother was their only friend in the world, and I'm positive we're going to see her in the flashback. Right now, you guys are kind of theorizing that Hannah Waddingham's going to play her. I have no idea. 
could be right, could be wrong, beats the heck out of me. Um, but he's going to show up, or all of this is going to take place right before good old Reverend Trask executes her for witchcraft. The girls are so confused as to why their mother's being taken away, and they witness her execution. Traumatized, they return home, but on the way, they overhear Reverend Trask talking to the child who accused Mother Sanderson of being a witch. So, of course, this leads to their hatred of children and turning evil. But what they don't know is Reverend Trask has been in league with evil forces this whole time, using them to accumulate wealth and property for himself. He used Mother Sanderson as a scapegoat to cover up his own misdeeds, so his lineage keeps going all the way up to Mayor Trask, who is going to end up being the real villain of Hocus Pocus 2. The reason Mary has been missing in so many of these photos I've been seeing, as well as the flight clips, which I'll play one for you at the end because a wonderful subscriber sent, them, sent it to me, because she's missing from all of those things is because she's off in pursuit of a familiar scent. That scent is Trask, who I imagine the heroes are also after because history is written by the winners, and they believe he's the descendant of a righteous witch hunter. Ergo, he can get rid of the Sanderson sisters, but they're in for a surprise when it turns out He's an evil guy just like his ancestor. Of course, the Sanderson sisters are unaware of this as well, so when the heroes find out the truth, that's when Mary finds out too. And she goes to return to her sisters with news, and when she does, guess what's gonna happen? If you, again, want my two cents, we're looking at a team-up, baby. <laughs> Oh, how awesome would that be? Becca, a practicing witch, and her two female friends run into the sisters and offer a truce so they can take Trask down. And yeah, even Winifred agrees to this, because if there's one thing that's just gonna tick her off so bad, it's the thought that her emotions have been manipulated for three centuries. We get a six-on-one duel going with the most epic team-up we could ever imagine. Even if it doesn't play out exactly like that, I'm almost positive Trask is going to be the secret villain of Hocus Pocus 2. And just to give the guy the benefit of the doubt, although I don't know why I'm doing that for a Trask, here's one last scenario. Reverend Trask was evil, but Mayor Trask teams up with the new heroes to make up for his ancestors' mistake by getting rid of the Sanderson sisters for good. Not as fun, but hey, it's a possibility. Okay, so jumping off of the whole conspiracy theory thing real fast, I'm going to play the clip for you guys real quick. It's going to pop up about right here. Um, this came from Camp Facer. Thank you so much for emailing this to me, dude. You are amazing. Keep on keeping on. And if you have more little things like this for me, I'd be happy to take them. That about wraps it up for this video. What do you guys think of this theory? Do you think Mayor slash Reverend Trask is going to be the actual villain of Hocus Pocus 2 like I do? Do you think we might see the Sanderson sisters team up with the heroes if this is the case? Do you think I'm just going crazy? Because I'm just looking at every little detail going, what's going to happen in this movie? Oh my gosh. But... Do you think Dark Shadows and Hocus Pocus took place in the same universe? Because I do. Um, either way, I, I'm super excited for this. Trask exists in both timelines of Dark Shadows and Hocus Pocus. Pretty sure they have, in fact, taken place in the same universe. And guess what? Here's another thing. Dark Shadows originally was aired on ABC. ABC is a Disney-owned company. Boom. Another connection. I'm just going to leave you guys with that. Let me know all of your comments in the comments section. Uh, down below, as always, if you're new to my channel, please remember to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't. I'm trying very, very hard to get this channel to 600 subscribers by December 31st at midnight. 
And we are so close. The goal is to have a thousand by the time Hocus Pocus 2 comes out next year. Guys, we are 12 subscribers away from 600. 12 of you, please hit the subscribe button. If we can get 600, I think we can get 400 by the time Hocus Pocus 2 comes out next year. So please, please, please hit the subscribe button. And if you're a regular here and already subscribed, hit the like button for me. It's free. It helps me. And what helps me helps you get more crazy content like this insane video that started as a news report and ended up as a conspiracy theory. You never know what's going to happen with me on this channel. It's just fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Casey Zogelman, aka the fourth Sanderson sister, and I will see you guys later. I am